Hello and welcome back. Uh, we're doing question number seven, complex trig. This question is not in your textbook. Let's take a look at what we have. We want to know a diameter of a ball that sits tangent to three points of a triangle. Okie dokie. So with knowing all three points, the law of cosine, given three sides, I can figure an angle out. So let's label a triangle. We're going to call this guy A. We'll call this guy B. We'll call this guy C. And then we'll call this guy here little b, or little a. We'll call this guy little b, and we'll call this guy little c. <coughs> Our triangle is labeled. So the theory behind this is I'm going to calculate this angle. I'm going to calculate this angle. Then with this information here, I'm going to bisect those two angles and I'm going to use the law of cotangent to get my height. Okay, so let's not get ahead of ourselves just quite yet. We're going to use, we want to find B. So we're going to use this guy here. So we're going to say cos B equals A squared plus C squared minus B squared to a C. Let's fill in our blanks here. A is 14.9 squared plus C 12.5 squared plus or sorry minus B squared which is 9.5 squared over 2 times 1.14.9 oh, times 12.5. I'm going to do the bottom first. 2 times 14.9 times 12.5 equals 300. 72.5. Then we're going to go, normally I'd break this down, but I'm going to do this all in one go on the calculator. 14.9 squared plus 12.5 squared equals minus 9.5 squared equals that's 2 8801 divided by 3.72 oh, come on now let's go back see if I can go back on this guy here divided by 3 Okay, sometimes you can do that on the calculator, sometimes you can't. Equals 0 0.7731812208. We want to get B by itself.
Okay, 39.359575562. Well, that's a big number. Okay. B equals. We're going to write this so that we can see it. 39.35957562. Okay. So that now we have this. Okay. Because I have this number already in the calculator, what I want is just this half. So I'm going to divide it by 2. Divide by 2 equals, and then this guy here equals 19.67978781. With your rounding, you're going to get a slightly different number than me. Don't worry about it. Now we want to find C. So we flip this guy over here. come out here we want to find C so we're going to use this one down here <clears throat> so I'm going to say cos C equals a squared plus B squared minus C squared to a B okay let's write this out Uh, our a squared is 14.9 squared plus our b, which is 9.5 squared, minus our c, which is 12.5. Move this up again so we can see. Don't want to be writing all this out and then you can't see it. Okay, and then 2. You can, I, I usually go bracket here uh, 1 4.9 bracket bracket B which is 9.5 I try and do the bottom one first just because it makes calculator moves a little bit less so I have it ready to divide the top number up by so 2 times 1 4.9 times 9.5 equals and I have 283.1, 283.1, okay. I'm going to go 14.9 squared plus 9.5 squared equals minus 112.5 squared equals. 156.01 156.01 divided by 283.1 equals 0 0.551077 something so cos c equals 0 0.5510773 Okay, second function, cos, 0 0.5510773 equals C equals 56.5597. Okay, so we'll go C equals five five six point five five nine zero four four four. Okay, so what we want to do here is we want only this half. So I'm gonna divide that by two. And this guy here equals twenty-eight point two seven nine five 
two, two, two. <clears throat> yeah, that one's worn out. Refresh piece. Okay. Now we have our triangle here to here. We have our base and we have our angle and our angle. And what we want to find here is our height. Once we have our height, we multiply that by 2. How do we do that? We use the law of cotangent. So our length here Cotangent, which is going to be one nine point six seven nine seven eight seven eight one plus cotangent two eight point two seven nine five two two two. And our length is one four point nine. Okay, so I don't have a cot button on my calculator. There's no cot button. Okay, so how do I get this number here to anything? Okay, so cotangent is the inverse of tan. So we're going to go tan one nine. <coughs> Six seven nine seven eight seven eight one sec oh equals and then second function one over and then you have your answer. Okay, so tan one nine point six seven nine seven eight seven eight one equals second function one over button so that equals so let's write it out here again one four point nine two point seven nine five nine 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 two oh four plus I'm going to say tan 28 etc second function 1 over equals and equals in there so let's do this one here so I'm going to go tan uh, 28 point two seven nine five two two equals second function one over equals one point eight five eight seven nine two seven eight one so I'm gonna go plus Two point seven nine five nine nine two zero oh four equals four one four point nine divided by one or sorry four point six five four seven eight four eight two one one four 4.9 divided by 4.6547884821 equals 2.7 I know it looks like angle three 
3.201007, whatever, 3.201. Three point two oh one times two equals our diameter equals six point four oh two oh whatever. Bring this down. Our answer at the top of the sheet. Uh, if you're having any problems with this question, I hope that it helped.